So today I'm going to show you how to do an AV composite mod on your ColecoVision. So first things first is you need to take it apart, remove the controllers, Have six screws one two three on the bottom one two three and then you're gonna have three more one there's gonna be the two and three and this bit is not gonna work so I'm gonna try this one being stubborn with the magnetic. Now being careful on opening this is very important. There are a few little areas along here where the front of the faceplate is attached to the bottom. So the bottom is more so connected to the top itself. So you don't want to just rip into it when you're lifting the case. Actually, you know what? There are a couple more screws I missed. There are eight. Two more on the sides. Once you get a tool to help pry this open a bit. So along the lip of here, there is, I don't know if that was in camera earlier, but along the lip of this, there is a, um, there's little catches here. So as you're lifting it in the back, kind of want to work it a little bit out here so you don't rig off this little snaps. And there it goes. And the buttons for on and off and the other one on the side of the reset, those have both 
uh, come off when I flipped it around. So those will set along with the screws. And to get this off, the um, the shield is, let me show you camera, there is a screw in the front there. There is a screw in the back. And then it's also soldered down right here in the corner and right in this corner as well in the front. And there is no other ones. So take off those two screws in the corners. This one came off, no problem. So I'm going to uh, fire up my soldering station and I'll be back in a second. All right, and this uh, shielding is not absolutely necessary. So I'm going to remove the only, um, the only thing that's holding it down, which is right here you'll see this uh, solder right here that's actually holding the shield down. So since it is just a little bit of solder, I'm going to use some wick and get some of this off. Actually, you know what? Take it back. I'm just going to heat up the old solder. And it's being a little stubborn, so I should flow some new solder onto it. goes. Don't need that anymore. And the next thing you want to do, see if I can get this in camera as best as I can. I guess that's the best spot. So we need to take off this uh, shielding from the RF shield here. There, it just comes off just like that. And this is mainly where most of our work is going to be done. We're going to be drawing power, ground, audio, video, all off this RF. And we're going to be uh, drilling a couple holes into the plastic of um, the case. You can opt to choose it from here. You can also choose to be drilling right here. It depends on what you want to do. As long as you um, uh, use a quarter inch drill bit to drill your holes. Now, if you're going to be doing it on the side where your motherboard is, you're going to want to remove your motherboard just to be on the safe side so you don't accidentally drill through any of these other components on accident if you happen to push through too quickly. And to do so, you would just remove the two uh, last screws, which would be right here in the center and in the corner. And that's probably what I'm going to do because it does look nicer to have your wires all on this side instead of by the power, but it doesn't matter. So one moment. So I've already done one of the holes and I've put in the uh, first jack. So I'm going to switch over my bit one more time and show you how to do the others. So first you want to start when you, it's ultimately going to be a quarter inch, but you do want to use a smaller one, uh, you know, about half its size at least, uh, to make sure that you do get a start on the jack itself. You don't want to go full guns blazing into the first um, drill bit you got, otherwise you might have um, issues with the plastic um, kind of just splitting out all at once. So you do want to tighten in the first smaller drill bit and you do want to space it out. So you want to space it out maybe about half an inch away from the next one, at least. It doesn't really matter how far, I mean, as long as you have enough space. So 
see if I can get this on camera a little bit, at least so you can see it. It's probably as good as it's going to get. Choose a good spot. Kind of make sure I also have it. The height is proper as well. That plastic. So that's the start of it. Now you want to take off your small drill bit, swap it over to your quarter inch. And then go at it again and make this uh, hole. Basically, you're starting there so you can allow yourself a quick, easy transition into the next size. And now you have a beautiful next one right there. So we're going to take our white jack now. And you're going to want to just unscrew this, keeping the washer on the opposite side. And all you're taking is the, uh, the nut and this little portion right here, because you'll be soldering to that one. Well, you'll be more so soldering to the uh, actual portion on the back there. The, uh, correcting myself now, the, um, the little part that has the metal sticking off to the right, that's actually, um, just to hold it together a little bit better. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to switch back to our other drill bit again. And we're going to do the last hole. So I'd get a good spacing. I'd say that's pretty good right there. And this will be the last time we need to swap our drill bit back to the quarter inch. That. 
that should be it for at least the jacks. Then we can get back to soldering. And if done correctly, it should look like that. Now you got it. So, time to get our board back into place. Make sure it's sitting nice and flush. You can screw back your two screws, which are going to be right there in the center. And the one in the corner. I believe it was right. Just want to be absolutely certain that that's exactly where I had it. Yep, it was this one in the corner. So this kit came to me. I um, I was looking for a good uh, AV composite kit, and this one I. I grabbed from Ruggers Customs, uh, James Donovan at Ruggers Customs. You guys can check him out on Facebook at Ruggers Customs on there. And uh, he provides a great kit. So this is the board. Comes with a uh, capacitor that you need to wire in with audio. It helps out quite a bit. And um, also comes with the three jacks, of course. And so now placement is the next thing of where you want to have that um, composite board. So you can, you can choose a whole different bunch of places. Um, it's really up to you. A lot of people will opt to choose it kind of round in this area over here. So I'm going to take a moment and think about where I want to place it, but I do want to have it in this area as well. So the spot I've chosen to go for is going to be right up here in this corner. So I'm going to place it as close as I can. Basically right there. Had a little bit of double side uh, sticky tape. Bit of a strong stuff just to make sure that I have this all in place. So first things first is since we do have two audio jacks, we do want to uh, make a wire to bridge from the red to the white. And so it shares its audio signal. And for that, we are going to just first at least tin a small piece of wire and that we will be using that to bridge the, um, Turn this wire up real quick. And also turn up the jacks as well. And I'm going to use these little angled pliers right here to easily get this to um,
right? And now we have that bridged. So the next part that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to um, run the, the ground and the voltage out, which is, which would be, I mean the video out, which is gonna go to the composite jack. So for that one, we just grab a wire and on the board right here, you'll see it says AV out. So AV out is gonna to go to your composite yellow. Ground is gonna go from here to all three because you need all of them grounded. And then you are gonna uh, take the rest of like the video and the audio and all that stuff from this RF box and it's gonna go to this side of your board. So I'm going to grab another wire and we're going to start wiring this up. So the next part we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly tin up our board here and um, focus. We're gonna quickly tin up our board so we can start wiring up. So let's grab a little bit of flux, put it on our points that we have here. Oh, I accidentally turned off my soldering station. Give that a moment. Must have bumped into the power switch since it's on the side. All right, and we're back up to temperature. So tin up our ground, audio, video in, 12 volts, ground, and audio out. So we're gonna start by doing the audio, I mean the ground. So I have tinned a wire that looks like this, where it's got, let's see if we can focus. I guess it won't, but you get the point. I, I stripped just the end over here and then the rest is just bare wire. So what you wanna do is you wanna solder this right here to the ground point. Then you want to tin up the um the outer portions over here of your jack because what you're going to ultimately do is get this ground wire to be soldered to it. This needs a little bit of flux. Get my solder over here. All right. I'll show you what that looks like. A little flux. 
focus. There we go. How to tap it a bit there. So you can see I soldered it from ground to the ground of each plug. And the next thing you want to do is solder a little wire going from your audio out on this side. I mean your, sorry, uh, your video, your video out to your yellow plug. So I'm going to turn that up real quick. Make it a lot easier for me to solder to. And this wire has already been tinned up, so this will make it easier. So now I'm going to solder it from this point to the end there. I'm going to go grab my... You gotta get a decent angle so at least you guys can see it. I want to double check it real quick. I do want to add a little bit more solder to that. And it lifted. Might have to do this one off camera just real quick so I can at least get it adjusted properly. And let me see if you can focus. Then you can see, there you go. Sorry, my camera is a bit bouncy. I am using a phone to do this. So then our next portion we have, we've already wired up the bridge for the audio. We've already wired up the ground to the uh, grounding for the outside. And we also have the uh, video out wired up to our composite. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is wire up the opposing side. And to do so, we're gonna need to start with, so now we're gonna start working on the RF side, so I'm going to try and at least get a better angle of what I'm doing here. So first things first is we're going to start with the ground, and ground will be identified by looking over here at the RF box. It will be this top most point right here. So going to, I've already stripped some wires, but we're going to prep our points as we go. So we're going to be using that top one as our ground point. So you want to add a little bit of flux and some extra solder just so we have a good connection. So Start by wiring in that one. And that is our ground. 
So that is going to go down here. Trying to get this, sorry, it's out of camera. Just want to make sure I have at least a good connection here, so I'm having to do this. You know, I'm going to restrip another wire real quick. This one is a little bit too short. All right, let's go for this again. This time, hopefully, a little better. Oh, that is definitely much much better. A little more solder. And that is our ground. So the next point that we're going to be doing is going to be our audio. So with the audio um, included in the kit is a, a capacitor it's a 10 microfarad 16 volt and with this one what you're going to be doing is you're going to take the um you're going to take the point off your rf you're going to wire it to the positive lead of your capacitor and then you're going to go from the negative lead to the um audio jack itself and since the audio jacks are bridged and they are using um, the their bridge between each other, so it's going to share the same thing. So you'll need to wire the, uh, the negative leg. So the, uh, the audio point in, uh, in your ColecoVision is going to be identified by, let's see what point it is here. It's going to be, if you look over at the top of this row right here, you go from this top point right here and you'll see these two and it kind of go, it drags down in a little half circle. So it's going to be that lower one right down there. So first I'm going to add a little flux like we did before. Add a little bit of solder. Then what you're going to want to do is wire up your um, you know what? I'm going to get actually a little bit of heat shrink to make sure that this uh, is all protected. Now I'm going to take a little bit of solder and I'm going to wire up the um, capacitor to the positive lead of the wire that I'm using right here. Make sure it has plenty on there. All right. That looks pretty good. I have it like that. Now with the positive lead soldered to that wire, I'm gonna protect it with some heat shrink. And 
And then this wire is going to go to that one point that we had already soldered at for the audio. So that is going to go right there. And now we need to solder up a wire that is going to go from this capacitor to one of those, one of the audio jacks. So to make this easier, I'm just going to solder it while it's standing. And I'll adjust the orientation of this in a bit. Oh, you know what? I'll add the other piece of heat shrink to this. Just to be on the safe side. Oh, this needs a better connection. One moment. Alright, now we just got to put this one and wire this up to the uh, jack. That one can just be tucked under here for a second while we finish the rest. And we only have a couple more points to go. So the next one we're going to be doing is our video in. And our video in is going to be this second point on the left hand side of our board. The video in is going to be, let's see which point it is here. If you see right here. Uh, in this side, you'll see three little points that are making this little triangle. It's going to be this lower one right here, and it's going to be in line with the third point. So I'm going to add a little flux. Add some fresh solder. We're going to wire up that point right there. And that's going to go to our audio, our video. Oh, and it looks like this wire is a, tube, a little bit too short, so let me go ahead and restrip another one. And, it, and this is time now to solder to this one. So I'm going to snake it in underneath here real quick. Be a little bit easier. And we're going to wire this to the AVN. Yeah, we just have one more to go. So the next one is going to be our 12 volts. And I guess I didn't strip enough wire. Seems to be a little bit of a trend right now. So 12 volts power input is going to be the absolute lowest point on our board. So that is going to be identified by this lowest portion right here, that point. So rather than cutting off camera to strip another wire, I'll just do it now. We'll see how far we need it to be. Mm. 
Let's actually just sneak it underneath so we have an exact amount. And it's going to be about that long. So now let's get it under there. And we're going to You know what? Got to add a little bit of flux and solder. Flux and solder is your friend for basically everything. So And solder that up to the 12 volt on your kit. Oh, I guess I need to restart it. Now it came loose. It must have bumped into it. The one right here for the audio. I'm actually going to have that slightly off camera so I can actually get a good angle for it. that should be all. So I'm just going to double check real quick looking at it. So we have our ground, we have our audio, we have our video, and we have our power. We have our audio video, we have all of them grounded. With all of them grounded we have our audio bridged as well. And it looks good. So now it would be all complete and it's ready for test. And there you go. I'll show you again. Now you're composite modded. Hopefully this was helpful. So Thank you for watching. I need to add in for this uh, tutorial is that the initial spot that I had placed on on top of this chip, if you place it here, you're going to get interference. Um, so you don't want to place it there. Even just having it hovered a bit like that is going to be enough to make sure that it's not picking up any of the signal. And that's, you can leave it like that if you want but uh, you'll see, you'll notice that there will be no interference. So once again, thank you for watching.